Uh, now I'm going to show you how to use an impact wrench that you will more than likely use on more than one occasion. All right. We have the Milwaukee again. I always like Milwaukee tools. They just hold up a lot better, but they're much more expensive. Just understand that. All right. Now, if you look at this, it says reverse forward. That's the only two that you have on this. This does not have the torque setting capability. The automotive ones typically do. If you want to spend a, another couple hundred dollars, you can get them. All right. But what you're basically going to be doing is formworks or some sort of installation. All right. And you just want to snug it up. The other thing that you want to know, <clears throat> keep in mind about torque wrenching something. We're doing it on a hub for a car, but if you are doing a project, always remember the star formation, all right? Here, skip one, skip one down, back over, back around, and then back down to the start. You don't have to try to get everything tight in one shot. That's not the preferred method. Do a little bit at a time, until the tool starts to shake. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. Remember, you cannot use a standard socket. They're not built to do that. We're using three quarter inch, half inch drive. All right, that's a standard, all right? But always remember it has to be black oxide. It's much stronger than the, uh, the little chrome ones that you use for hand tightening stuff. All right, so we always wanna be sure that our plug's in good shape. Nothing's on, nothing's plugged in. You'll also see a little ball here, all right? And that ball has a spring attached to it. And that ball will allow this to come on and off. After a while, this ball could easily pop out. I mean, we're talking a lot of, a lot of time use on it, all right? But over here on both sides is a little drift pin. You pop that out, you replace the whole uh, mechanism, all right? If the ball falls out, do not use this tool, all right? Do not. All right, so everything's in operational status, and we want to drop that into place, okay? Now, you see where my hole on the, the um, um, socket will line up with the other tool, or the uh, ball. And we want to just be sure it's locked in. Check our plug. Here you want to hear, have hearing protection of some sort and your gloves. Now again, just hand tighten them up, all right? Be sure that you're not cross threading them. You're going to take your tool and test it. You want to go forward or clockwise. Make sure the tool goes backwards, too. So now we're going to start with this one bolt. Secure it. Hold it like a pistol. Be sure that you're on the forward button and tap it. See? Now you heard it snug up. That's all I want to do right now. Okay, I brought it up to the face. Go to the, my next one in the star movement.
right at the present moment, this one's stripped out. It's so rounded that I'm going to have to fix it later on. All right. So I go back to where I started. I again attach it. And now you're going to hear a kind of a chatter. And that's when it's snugged up. When you, when you cannot get to this uh, socket to move anymore, it's tight. Don't go nuts. All right. And I'll leave this one alone until I can get it fixed. All right. That's all there is to this. All right. What I want you to be sure that is when you're done. All right. We want you to re-loosen these. So, without hesitation, again, you want to loosen it the same way you tightened it. All right? Just be sure you got it on the reverse trigger. Okay? Now, you see how I just kind of punched the, this, uh, the trigger my nut is released, okay? Now, if it seems necessary that you gotta pull it off, you can run it all the way out. But you don't have to keep your finger on the trigger at all times, all right? If it comes off, that's okay. you're going to keep them on there anyway for the next student, but we want to be sure that it's ready. Now, if you can do me a favor, if those nuts start getting uh, rounded, let us know. Uh, and we'll just replace them or clean them up on the grinder. All right? It's safer just to replace the things. They're not that expensive. I mean, you can spend the time on the grinder, but time's better spent somewhere else. All right, so then, sure everything's unplugged. Try to keep uh, the socket with the tool, all right, so that uh, we don't have to keep taking it off, putting it on, all right? When you're done, just take this off and put it up underneath the table, all right? 